Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Kiri Forest Suicidal, and you thought you'd get away from the, the sailing videos. You thought I wasn't doing a sailing video today. Well, too bad. It's too bad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just the way it's gotta be. I have, I have a daily quota for, uh, for sailing videos to record. Um, one a day, minimum. Can't get away from it, have to do it. Uh, it's legally mandated. They they recently put out a uh, a new uh, a new law that states um, I must record at least one video about sailing every day. It's just it's it, it, I, I you know my hands are tied figuratively and unfortunately not literally. So it's a callback to the last episode. Remember where it was all about the the kinks and stuff. Anyway. Um. I can maybe tie my hands. Is this long enough? Yeah, my hands are tied, but I can I can get out of it very easily. So, but I can't not talk about the sailing. Okay, the the analogy doesn't really work. Um, I don't I don't have handcuffs. I don't have rope. I don't have I don't have anything with 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 which to bind myself on uh, on that scale anyway um and I could go I don't know I can go grab some some clamps from the the garage or something but for a bit I don't know if it's really gonna be worth it anyway sailing episode welcome back it's time to talk about sailing I think um I haven't really been doing too much research honestly but I have been thinking about how some things are going to go, right? Because there, there are a few things that I do. Hello, you guys just kind of floating along. Nice, uh, you know, 360 nose grind, dude. There are a few things that I do right now. I've, I've, I guess what, I can, what I'm trying to say is that I've been thinking about what I'm going to have to give up when I eventually move on to the boat, right? Because I'm going to move on to a boat at some point in my life, or at least I'm going to try. Um, whether it's possible or whatever, you know, that's another story, but I'm, I'm gonna try. If it doesn't work, it's, it, it won't be for lack of, of an attempt, you know? Um. Hello? Where, where the heck are you? Um. So anyway. When I move on to a, when I move on to a boat, I've been thinking about what I'm gonna have to give up. What things that I do every day am I not going to be able to do once I live on a boat? What things do I kind of take for granted that I, that I won't be able to take for granted when I live, live on a boat? Um, just to kind of go over what I'm going to lose exactly and practically speaking what I'm going to have to accept and, and how my life's going to kind of go after it happens. It's a ways away still. Likely three or four months at the minimum. And then probably like a year or two, um, you know, as on a, on a likely scenario. Um, so there are a few things that I will have to give up. I talked recently about how I'm not gonna have to give up that much, but that's like physical stuff, right? From from a you know habits and and uh, hobbies and stuff like that. What am I gonna have to give up? Well. For one, um, everything that I made my other channel for is gonna like just not be possible. Um, I think I'm gonna be able to make, you know, two KF2 videos a day, every day, at least on average, um, just fine. Uh, you know, before I move on to the boat, I'll have to get like four or five months of um, of. Uh, like <laughs> backlog so it'll be you know once I move on to the boat there'll be quite a lot of um of uh backlog to, to go off of right um which will probably end up being that I record three episodes a day every day for like however long I want the backlog to be and then uh end up moving on to the boat at that point or even like earlier if I'm going to be living in a marina um depending on how it goes um, because if I'm living in a marina, I can still do, like, most of what I do today, uh, today like, just fine. 
it's, it's when I start moving it to, to like anchorages and stuff like that, it's, it's not going to be as viable because I won't have as much electricity and I won't have as much time and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. But the other channel, the other channel, the, uh, the main channel as it were, that one doesn't really do anything that I'd be able to continue doing while I'm living on a boat because the Minecraft series takes way too much time for it to be possible. Like, it's, it takes too much time for me to have a part-time job and then also be making it. You know what I mean? Like, let alone living on a boat. You have limited electricity. You have to also maybe work to, to be able to afford it. And, uh, you know, like, like it's just, it's just the, the time is not there. For, uh, for making them the Minecraft series and then the RuneScape series kind of same thing haven't actually made a RuneScape episode yet But I've been thinking I don't know do I even bother Because my plan is to leave on a boat. I don't know um, So I mean I've been thinking about that because the Minecraft series and the RuneScape series when I move on to the boat I'm gonna have to go. I think I'm gonna continue making the the, the episodes um, I've been putting it off like if you've been paying attention to the other channel. I haven't uploaded a video for a while um and it's, it's because um, lazy for one and then also since I realized I want to live on a boat I'm kind of like I don't know what to do about it you know I don't know how to, to, to make it kind of work um, and giving up the Minecraft series like after I've put so much time into it and, and maybe built up an audience and stuff like that kind of feels bad like I'm not sure if it would be something I'd be willing to give up so I'm not I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure if I if I want to make that choice and then the other thing is is like you know I, I think like this like you know I don't know if I want to give up the Minecraft series or whatever and then I think about sailing and I'm like which which do I want to give up more like I can't I honestly I can't tell which is which is why I really want to get the experience sailing and and have these and have that hands-on experience so that I, I can know more clearly if it's something that I'm really going to want to give up all of these things for because right now I, I honestly can't be 100% certain um, but I, I do think I want to like at the end of the day I can I can make my my a YouTube channel later I can make Minecraft videos later I can maybe you know, like, even when I, you know, the, the, the quality would go down, but even when I'm living on a boat, I could probably still record some Minecraft videos. Slower progress, maybe shorter videos. Um, less frequent videos as well, for sure. Um, but I, I could still maybe make it work, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's something that I kind of have to think about, because I'm not going to have that much time, you know? And any time, like, time that I do have... I'm I'm want I'm gonna want to spend like doing things, you know. Like if I if I have free time, I'm gonna want to go and explore whatever anchorage I'm at, or, or hop out to land and, and go for a walk around, or you know, maybe I have to go grocery shopping or whatever. So I don't know. That's that's kind of the one thing. It's it's the the YouTube side of things for making the Minecraft videos because I really really love it. I love it. I really do. I just also think I'm gonna really love sailing. And, and I don't know which one I think I'd love more. I have experience making the YouTube videos. I don't have experience sailing, so I'm, I'm working on resolving that um, before I, I fully, completely make a decision. But that's kind of the one thing that's that's kind of holding me back. One, The one thing that, that I'm kind of reluctant to give up on. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, um, the KF2 videos, I think I'm going to be able to maintain. Um, you know, if I'm doing an, if I'm doing a, an ocean crossing or whatever, might not be able to record two episodes a day while I'm doing it. Most ocean crossings don't tend to be that long, though. You know, like uh, a month or two at the most, maybe three. Um, not not like they're not year long things, right? Um, so it's it's uh, you know, I'd, I'd have the backlog for it, and I'd be able to to. You know, end up at a marina or anchorage or something. Oh my god. 
and uh, and get caught up again before I, I head out to another long crossing like that. And even on the, the long crossing, it's not like the entire three months I'm not going to get a single video recorded, right? Um, so, for a lot of it, probably, yeah, and it would be a lot harder too, but I'm not re planning on, like, solo sailing across oceans. I'm not I'm not going to sail across an ocean until I have a partner living with me on the boat. Um, and when you do that, you have a, a bit more free time. Like, you can solo sail across an ocean just fine. People do it. You know, and, and these people still have time to record for, for their vlogs and, and uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, if I have another person on board, I'm, I'm fairly confident uh, outside of, like, really, really bad weather. Probably still be able to record two KF2 videos a day, I imagine. Um, solar panels are able to keep the, the batteries charged and all that, so it should be, it should be fine. Um, so, the, the KF2 videos, I, I don't really worry about. Um, so much. Um, but it, it's the Minecraft stuff. I'm like, I don't know if I want to give it up. Uh, and then other than that, there is, uh, like, pets. I know you can have pets on board. Like, people sail around the world with pets. Um, for me personally, like, I, I don't think I'd want to do that. You know, like, I watch these vlogs of people that have pets and stuff, and their pets are, like, shivering, and, like, you know, like, I, it'd be nice to have a companion and stuff, but I really feel like it's it, it, it's just selfish, you know? Like, I, I really feel like you're not helping the dog. You're not providing the dog with a, with a good, happy life. You don't, it doesn't have the space to, to run around and... I feel like it's irresponsible to, if you're going to be sailing around the world, to, to have a pet. I, I don't feel like that's a very responsible decision. So, you know, if I were to live on a boat, I'd be giving up the ability to have a dog. Although, you know, I'm not going to be living on a boat forever. Um, you know, 10, 20 years from now, I might be, you know, either dead or... <laughs> um, yes! I did it, I always try, but it never works. Um, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I'm maybe dead or, or living in a, in an apartment somewhere, right? So, I could, I could end up getting a dog then. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's that big a deal to not have a pet. It's not, it's not really something that I'm torn up about, you know? Whereas the, the Minecraft series and the YouTube side of things kind of is. Um... But uh, another thing that I'd be giving up would be uh, I really, really like cooking, right? And uh, cooking on a boat is a little bit, you know, you've got a nice little galley or whatever, and you got you got a nice little place to, to do your thing, but, you know, you're not really making these, like, extravagant meals, right? But then again, I can do that once I'm done sailing, right? Like, I can just... Hello? Did y'all... There was a crawler there, right? Y'all saw that, right? Um... I knew that when I'm done sailing, so... I mean... I guess it's not really a big problem? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more things I think that, uh... Are gonna keep me from wanting to sail. But then, like... Every, every time I'm kind of questioning it, like, I don't know if I should do this, I don't know if it's, like, a thing that I should really be putting my time into, I don't know if it's going to be, like, the right way to, to live my life, you know, I start to, to question it and I start to doubt it. Every time I have these, like, thoughts, I, I think, like, okay, well, what about the other side, you know? Like, the, the flip side to, to not giving up your, uh, to, to not giving up my Minecraft series, I need the, I need the dude here so I can do a little tink, 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 you know? Or is it over there? I think it's it's yeah, no, it's at that side. I mean you could do it over here too, I believe, but it's a, it's an out of bounds glitch in uh in Ocarina of Time. You, you like he's like there and you get your your sword and you kinda like crouch down, and you start like attacking it, and off back kinda like pushes you inside him, and then you run around the right way so he doesn't uh, block you off and like this whole thing. It's good fun. Um Anyway, like uh, I always think about it, right? Because the flip side to you know, okay, so let's say I decide to not live on a boat and continue with my Minecraft stuff. That's giving up having a boat. 
And like, I don't feel as torn about giving up having a boat as I do giving up my Minecraft stuff, which is probably a sign that I shouldn't live on a boat. But then at the same time, I've kind of always not had a boat. You know what I mean? Like, that's always been normal for me. That's always been the, the standard. That's been, like, the expected thing, right? Is no boat. So, to, um... To then have a boat. I mean, it, 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 I guess, I get, like, the excitement that I get from having a boat is, like, equal to the disappointment that I get from thinking about not being able to make these Minecraft videos anymore. And then the other side of it is, like, I still be able to. RuneScape, definitely not. I would not have the time for RuneScape. Um, just, just like maintaining the bonds on it. No, like, like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good like hour or two a day, every day, to be able to maintain the the membership on RuneScape. Um, with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with, with bonds. I'm not gonna be able to afford that. That's, that's gonna be a, a give up thing. So RuneScape, I'm gonna have to just quit if I want to live on. Um, on a boat. So I, I like I don't want to pay for it myself, you know? Like I don't want to spend my own money on um on RuneScape. I just I don't. Um so like every time I play I'd just be like maintaining bonds and I, it it just it doesn't really sound like a fun time, so I'd be giving up RuneScape. And again, like, you know, if I'm adding in more of these the, the more of these like online things that I'm adding in, the more of this like you know, I'll play this game and I'll make these videos and I'll do these things. Like, the more of this I add in, the less time I have to do what I want the boat for. You know, like... You know, I add in making a Minecraft series. And sure, it doesn't take that much time every day. And it doesn't, like, necessarily... It's not, it's not like, that big of an investment. But it's taking away from time that I would have had to, to go and sail or go diving or go swimming or fishing or, or whatever else which is kind of what I, I'm really really looking forward to being able to do so you know I, I can't just be like sure I could live on a boat and then still do all the things that I'm doing because that's not like the point right like the the point is that I'd be living a different life and 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 having these new experiences and and that freedom that I get to to go and do whatever I want wherever I want and have that uh, that, the, the fun that that I that I want and fish and and sail and and do all these things that I'm so excited for. So, yeah, I, I could make Minecraft videos and I could play RuneScape and I could do all this on a boat. I'd have the time for it, but then I wouldn't have the time to justify having the boat and living on the boat. You know, like it's just it's kind of. Uh, I don't catch 22, I guess. So at the end of the day, I have to give up the RuneScape series, and I have to give up, at least for the immediate, uh, once I move on to the boat, um, the, the Minecraft series as well. Um, which is, uh, you know, again, sort of sad, but I think it's worth it, is, is the, the moral of the story, you know? Like, nobody's, not many people anyway, are, are moving on to a boat or making any kind of like enormous decision like this you know very few people are making this these kinds of decisions and and being like yes 100 percent this i'm not going to be giving up anything that i kind of appreciate in my life right now nothing is going to get worse you know every, everybody when you make a decision like this there's always going to be some things that you're giving up some things that you have to to, to sacrifice for for this but you know, you, you do it because you want to, you know, like it's worth it, right? That's why it's why people still sail around the world and stuff, even though you are giving up a lot and even though you are um, sacrificing a lot, even though you are giving up those conveniences and the the things you take for granted, it ultimately at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're better off for it, you know? It would be nice if you just had more time and had more money to be able to have all of it, but, but you don't get that choice, right? Like, like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick which is it that that you want to do, and and I think for me, it's it's sailing. I think I could be wrong, and I'm 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 welcome. I I will welcome the opportunity to be wrong, 
uh, honestly, because uh, I, I appreciate when I'm wrong, because it means that I learned something. But I don't think I am. I, I think that, that, that I would like it more. So, But I think for now, I can't, I can't not make the YouTube videos, because I do like doing it, you know? And I think that what my decision is going to be is going to be based on the success of the Minecraft channel. So I'm going to be continuing to make the Minecraft videos, and I'm going to be continuing to maybe make some RuneScape videos. I haven't totally decided on that one yet. Um, I'm going to be continuing to do it so that if I end up not being able to live on a boat for some reason, or if I end up you know, giving up on the dream for some reason, if something happens that convinces me not to, and um, you know, all this kind of stuff, like anything could happen, right? So I'm going to continue to do what I like doing here on land while I'm on land and and then when I move on to a boat then I'll give stuff up but I don't have to give up anything yet I don't have to make those decisions yet some things I, I have like I've uh, I was gonna start up another server for serenity and like do that kind of stuff I've, I've taken that money out I'm not paying for that server anymore and I'm not gonna do that and that's because I'm gonna be moving on to a sailboat and living on it eventually so that's that's a sacrifice I'm already kind of making Nobody was playing on the server. They kind of like messaged me like, yeah, we're not really doing it. So I've kind of ditched it. It's not there anymore. Um, and I was going to make another server and like do some stuff with it. I, I think it's just better for me to have that money um, and put it away for, for savings and and, uh, and get uh, my money saved up for, for a boat and for lessons and all the things that I'm going to need to do to be able to make the decisions that I, I want to make responsibly. Um... So that's one thing that I'm kind of sacrificing. I'm going to start sort of cutting out a lot of the other costs that I uh, have in my life. Just just things that don't really matter that, you know, I have the money for if I'm going to be living on land. But if I'm going to be saving up for boat and saving up for all these expensive costs, which after I'm done and I have the boat and I'm living on a boat, it will be cheaper. But until then, uh, it's it's a big financial strain. Um, and then even afterwards, there will there will be... Uh, like in a few years, there will be more financial strain because the boat will wear down and stuff. Um, but I'll be, you know, since I'm planning on buying a, a newer boat, not a new boat, but a newer boat. Um, initially, a lot of those costs that I, I would have been kind of putting in over years would have been, uh, I'm, I'm just going to be paying for up front. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I am... Um, gonna cancel some of the other things that I have like I might get rid of my Iron Man series I don't know I might not as well I don't know um, I just don't know I don't know what the right decision is so I'm not gonna make any huge decisions just yet um, but I do want to yeah I do want to uh, to move on to a boat, so I'm going to be doing what I can to make that happen, but I'm not going to be giving up too much just yet. Um, and then when the time comes, I'll, I'll have to make the decision. But what I think the decision is ultimately going to be sort of based on is how successful the Minecraft series is at the time of actually like deciding to move on to a boat. If my if my Minecraft series is... like if, 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 I get, if YouTube is at a point where I can afford to live on land, from the money that I'm making from YouTube by the time I, I want to move on to the boat. I think I'm just going to continue living on land. Um, because I have, I have like, two dreams, and they're both, like, of equal import to me. You know? I, I have the dream of living on a boat. This one's affordable. I can do this. I don't need any help. I don't need anything to happen. I just, I have to save up and then, like, do it. You know? But, like, it's, it's affordable, and it can, I can do it. Again, like, if, if a boat fell into my lap right now, I could go and live on it, you know? Like, the money is there for for live aboard for me. Um, so, of the two dreams, it's the more realistic. And it's the one that I'm going to be pursuing financially, anyway. Um, my other dream is YouTube. I want to be a gaming YouTuber. And I want to be a sailor. These are These are two things that I kind of take as being equally important to me. Um, so, when the time comes to move on to a boat, if YouTube is doing really, really well, and I'm really, really happy with it, and I'm able to, like, move into an apartment somewhere, I might just do that. Um, it'll depend on how well it's going, because if I'm, like, really making it big, I might still buy a boat. <laughs> you know, like, like, 
Like if it's really doing well, I'd, I'd have the money to, to live on a boat um, and uh, and not have to do like too many of the repairs myself. So that, that would save me a lot of time and, and energy um, and effort and stuff. And uh, I wouldn't have to worry about like marina fees if I'm living on it. So I would be able to you know move into a marina if I ever wanted to focus on YouTube for a bit or whatever. You know, like like if the money is really there, that's the that's the best of both worlds, right? Um, the most likely scenario, if YouTube does end up convincing me to not live on a boat, is probably that it's like, you know, just barely acceptable, you know? Like, like if it's if it's even going to be to that point at all, um, it'll be just barely acceptable. And this dream is one that, that I don't really have that much control over, you know? I could be making more videos and uh, doing more work on, on advertising and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure, but... You know, ultimately, it requires people to watch me, you know? It requires people to like me and, and enjoy the content that I'm creating. And um, I know that a lot of you out there do, for sure. I really appreciate it. Not enough of you to, to like, pay for <laughs> rent and stuff, you know? Like, it's still having a blast making it. It's like, I don't only make it for money. I don't get any money from this, actually. Thank you, YouTube, for taking my money away. I used to make money on YouTube. I had to... Not a living, but uh, a little bit of cash coming in. It was nice. Um, but anyway, I... Uh, Bring up the trading controls and upgrade it's, not, it's not enough to pay for rent or anything like that, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not at the point where, where my bills are getting paid from, from YouTube revenue, right? Like, it's not... It's not there yet. Um, and it might not net ever be. So, um, I think if I lived on a boat, I'd be able to, to make some... some you know, sailing content and get uh, views and, and subscriptions and Patreons and all that kind of stuff going pretty well because, um, again, I think that I fit into a pretty good niche as a, as a person looking to learn to sail. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, anyway. I, uh, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, best case scenario is the YouTube stuff really pops off, and I'm like, you know, like a million subs, and I'm making just like raking in the cash. I can afford like a decent boat, and I can afford all the repairs and maintenance it's going to be to just pay people to do it. I don't have to like put in all the time for it. I could spend that time on like YouTube and maintaining this. Uh, both of the dreams. That's the that's the ideal outcome, of course, right? But uh, that's not likely. It's not even likely that YouTube's gonna work well enough to like afford to live on land comfortably. Um, so, so you know, at the end of the day, the most likely scenario, the one that's just sort of the most, I don't know, like like possible, is is just to not worry about YouTube so much and and just uh, live on a boat, because I can afford to do that. I don't I don't have to wait for you know, YouTube to pop off. I don't have to, like, put in a bunch of work on advertising and doing all this kind of stuff. I can just do it. You know, if everything goes wrong, I'm still able to afford it. So that's that's kind of what will end up happening, I think. Just because, again, it's it's, it's the, the most possible scenario. Um, and that way I'm able to continue making my YouTube videos. And if it works out, I'm not going to feel bad about giving up on sailing and if it really works out then I get to be really happy but again it's like not happening um, but yeah I'm just gonna have to continue making YouTube videos and see where it goes is, is really kind of where I'm at it'll suck to give up on the YouTube stuff though not the KF2 the KF2 is here forever okay but the uh, the other stuff it'll suck to give up on it but you know I'd rather give up on that than, than give up on being able to, to have that freedom that a uh, sailboat kind of gives me. So, that's that's kind of where I'm at. It's it's not a topic that's necessarily fun to think about, you know? Because it's it's like just thinking about like what's what's the bad part of living on a boat? What's what's the what's gonna make me hate it? You know? And it kind of kind of brings me down from the the excitement and the hype of it, which is important. Right, like it's super important to look at things realistically and, and understand what's bad about it and recognize that there are problems with it and, and be like, you know, I, I understand that there are problems with it, but I still 
think that it's the right choice for me. That way you can feel really confident in your decision, you know? Um, but it's not fun. <laughs> it's not It's not a fun experience. It's just a, an affirming experience, you know? But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.